I was planning to print the word 40th, but ended up using numerals for the sake of economy. Eh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's perfect, Roy. Piping's always a challenge. Well, you rose to the occasion. Ah, uh, hiya. Oh, that's nice. Happy 40th, Joanne. Leanne. <laughs> um, actually, I was going to ring you. Oh, are you now? Yeah, Joe LaFoe's coming in this afternoon? Not the JLF. Yeah, I thought you might want to seal the deal. I mean, she used to be your client. I could pay you on a freelance basis. Oh, no, thank you. No, clean break. The only person I work for from now on is me. OK, is there anything I could say to change your mind? No. Roy, will you tell this gentleman how long I hold a grudge for? Well, I, I, I might be speaking out of school, but she did feel rather aggrieved. Aggrieved? Yes, that's putting it politely. Although, I do wish you luck with the JLF, because I know she drives a hard bargain. Right. And give my regards to uh, Joanne. Happy 40th. Thanks. Yeah, I'll send an email to inform me of this. Ah, here he is. Decided to show your face, then. Oh, uh, been looking for you. Uh, I was uh, about to make the announcement. I thought you'd be in there. He's just telling us the news. He's found someone to buy the shares. Oh, right, yes. He hasn't told us who yet. Just said it's someone that we all know very well and there's no cause for alarm. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to it. It's like the X Factor, isn't it? You know, when he gathers us all together. Yeah, where was I? OK, so I know them very well, you know them very well. You know, I, I've got to be honest, I don't think anyone's had a bigger impact on Underworld than she has. So, without further ado, the new majority shareholder of Underworld is... Carla Connor. <laughs> It's Barlow, actually. Oh, is that it? I thought it'd be more of you. You? Oh, that's fabulous. Congratulations, Mrs Barlow. Creep. Oh, I feel like I should do a twirl or a curtsy. Welcome back, Mrs Connor. Talk about a safe pair of hands. Uh, Nick, can I have a word, please? Are the drinks on you, then? They most certainly are not. I love those boots. Are they new? Oh, thank you, sir. Do you know, I could have chosen anyone. Oh, Sally, that's so nice. I tried to tip you off. I've left you a voicemail. When? This afternoon. Saying what? Saying I wanted it. What? With Harry's button? No, Adam, he's sorted out the money. Um, I've, we sorted the financial advisor, the bank. It's, it's all systems go. Okay, well, well, I didn't get your message. You know, you said you needed someone ASAP and she knows this place better than anyone. She hates me. Oh, come on. Be fine anyway. Look, it's too late. You know, I was going to tell you before I told the ranks, but oh, oh, <laughs> uh, there's your message. Oh no! no listen, you're going to have to tell you've made a mistake. I can't. We've exchanged contracts. Is everything all right? No, no. I'm sorry. No, everything is not all right. Look, I, I told Nick that I'd buy your shares. Oh, awkward. Hmm. I didn't get the message. So I'm sorry. The deal's off. No, the deal is most definitely not off, sweetheart, because I've already transferred in the money. And how can you afford it? daddy -o? Johnny? Yeah. Not that it's any of your business. But don't worry, Sarah. I still consider you an integral part of the team, which is why I'll see you tomorrow. Half past nine. Don't be late, though, eh? Oh, Joe Lafoe. My most favourite client. How are you? Come on. I didn't get your message. <laughs> 